In this video, I will show you how to work with layout. So this is the default of your website where it will display the blog page on the home page. We will not use a static home page right now, just to show you an example. So you can go to the theme settings page, layout, and then you can see style layout in this page. I can choose full box and then responsive. And then this is the default layout where you can choose some layout. For example, I will change to the second one sidebar and content click save setting and then let's refresh this Done. this is your sidebar this is your content you can change uh, any layout that you like for the default layout this layout will be used for default layout it can be for the search result page, not found page, post category page, post tag page, and others. And then you can see the default content layout here, where you can choose to display featured image plus summary. Or if you are simple blogger where you want to show full text i will choose full text then this is a simple block with read more button if you specify read more button in your wordpress editor or you can choose uh, summary where you only want to show summary short summary for every blog post or you want to show left thumbnail plus summary This is the left thumbnail. This is the summary. So right now I will use the my favorite feature image plus summary. This is also you can see that on the bottom screen you will see one, two, three numeric navigation. You can change using let's say if you like previous page, next page, all the newer posts. Okay, and you can also hide red crown. Okay, and then page setting. This is where you want to control the default layout of your pages. Single post setting where you want to control the default layout and sidebar for single post page and sub page where you want to control let's say I want different layout for my sub page you can control here for the single product page setting you can also control let's say if I click this one I choose to show full with content without sidebar but if you want to display same sidebar let's say only need to click setting and then tada, this is your sidebar okay But I will I like to choose no sidebar 
and also when you edit or add new page you can also control the layout here so you can get different layout for different page